First comes love, then comes TikTok. That's how it went for Massachusetts native Sarah Molika and her now husband, Italian native Carlo Bruno Longo, who've amassed more than five million followers, sharing the comedy at the heart of their cultural differences. Put address to an elephant in the room. We had to address the elephant in the room. We had to put an address in... What elephant in the room? <laughs> What? Fresh ricotta. Fresh, fresh ricotta. You, we Not have, ricotta. We, we, ricotta. <laughs> we are in Italy, come on. The little animal that always runs around our backyard. Not uh, a chipmunk. Um, squirrel. 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 Square. So the couple started sharing their videos a few years back when they were still long distance and now they live together just outside of Boston where their lighthearted pranks continue. Sarah and Carlo, thank you so much for joining me. Hello. Thank you so much to you guys. <laughs> Is it so weird to be interviewed this way where you all are usually the ones that are in front of the camera doing your own thing, right? Yeah, it's new. It's totally different yeah. <laughs> experience for us. <laughs> so talk to me about how you all met. Um, so my family is from Italy as well in Calabria. So my nonna and nonno, with my grandfather and grandfather, grandmother and grandfather, have a house there still. We would vacation there often in the summer. Carlos' family has a beach club in Italy as well. Oh, it was a lifeguard. Yes, that's where he was a lifeguard. <laughs> um, so we would always go there. And he was just a cute lifeguard there. He asked me out on multiple dates, and I always said no. I try so many times. I always say no, no, I can't. And then can't. I finally said yes once, and we've been together ever since then. So. I feel like that's like the start of a novel, like yeah. a really good beach read. That's a short version, too. Just, it's a very yeah, long is, version. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. There are so many details yeah. like that I, I learn for a, a full winter. English by myself, watching video just for us to have to have on a date with me. Yeah. Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> Before I even knew, I was just like, oh, he's just a cute lifeguard. But <laughs> <laughs> I was always falling in love with her. Science, yeah. the first time that they saw her for me was like, she's not real. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Um, so talk to me about the TikTok piece of it. When did you decide, you know what, I should record this? Um, so when we were long distance, I would mm -hmm. post a video here and there about our long distance. Um, and then I went to go visit him in Italy for the summer and I just started to prank him. I didn't know what I was doing. I think the first one that I did was asking if I should put pineapple on pizza because it just came in my head that that's what Americans do. And I broke spaghetti in half and then I was oh like, wow, this is really... <laughs> when I saw the way he reacted, I was like, I'm going to keep doing this. And it just happened. We just, it blew up after that. We, I remember we refreshed yeah. our TikTok and it was like at a million followers in less than 24 hours. And we're like, what is happening? Yeah, it was, it was like uh, unbelievable also because it was nothing prepared, nothing ready. It's just be yourself. Uh, I mean, <laughs> she was herself because she prepared the prank. <laughs> and that was myself in my reaction. But the situation was weird just because it uh, happens without uh, realizing what happens. Yeah, we yeah. didn't like just, we didn't plan to do it. It just happened. What went through your head when she recorded that first video of you, which the first prank? The, the which one? The pineapple uh, and pizza one. Oh my God! I say no. That that's she really didn't ask this. She really <laughs> didn't want to do that. She just want to say something funny to me. But I didn't know it was a prank. I didn't know it was a, like a recording situation. Also because uh, you know uh, I didn't even have a TikTok before this uh, situation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because I was like uh, in the social media, I was very bad. They post on a picture every three months. <laughs> <laughs> that's why it's so easy. He was just like, oh, Sarah's just recording me for fun like he didn't know it yeah. and then when I started posting he's like oh that's what you're doing yeah <laughs> yeah that was funny and the best part of this situation is when we lay down on the bed and we watch our video mm -hmm. and we're laughing yeah. that, that for me in the moment that she laughing is the best moment for me because you do something for uh, to be natural and make your wife uh, laugh, la mm -hmm. laugh, yeah, laugh, laughing, yes, <laughs> laugh. <laughs> That's the best. I mean, mm -hmm. what you can have more. <laughs> what I mean, do you ever think? Okay, is it a, like? Do you ever? Are you starting to catch on to when when she's pranking you? Like, are you thinking? Okay, this must be a prank for the for TikTok. <laughs> uh, sometimes yes, sometimes no, because uh, sometimes she pranks me without camera. So. I not do for the camera. Right. I, I do just because uh, I am myself. Mm. And uh, sometimes I, I probably can imagine, but I don't know if she really has the camera. Yeah, because, it's kind of, like we have the kind of relationship that we are always doing that to each other. Like yeah. I'm, we're always going back and forth anyways. Like, so it's I, like, 
Yeah, like I do the same with the hair, but I no record. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like uh, she is the genius behind that. <laughs> She's uh, sneaky, ready with the camera. I do like something similar, but I'm not sneaky. How much she's sneaky? To yeah, I know these. when he's doing it immediately. Yeah. I'm like, your your camera's literally. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I try. But me, I'm like very it's sneaky so about evident. it. Yeah, yeah. And he doesn't pay attention to the little things anyway. So <laughs> <laughs> he's just like, oh, she's just probably taking a picture or something. Yeah, or yeah. And uh, now with the YouTube video that we made, uh, mm. so we. We are more in the camera, so it's like uh, be yourself and that's it. Yeah. Five million followers is incredible. Did you all ever think you would have five million folks following you and, and your lives together? No. Honestly, still, when people like are out in public and they recognize us, we never realize why. Sometimes people will come up to us and be like, hi, and I'm like, wait, what? Oh, we, we post videos on the internet. Like, we don't. It doesn't, like, I can't fathom that number in my head. Mm -hmm. It's crazy, especially when one of our videos has, like, a um, hundred million views. I never realized how many. That, that's a lot of yeah. viewers. Like, that's a lot of people. Yeah. We, we don't consider, like, uh, five million. We have five million followers. Mm -hmm. We still uh, act, act like, uh, yeah, we are yeah. normal people that post the video because we are. I mean, uh, yeah. it's something, a huge number. I mean, we never... Uh, uh, the number never inf influenced us. In yeah, like we never just do it for like the number or anything. We're just no. like, yeah. oh, it's really cool that people enjoy our videos. And sometimes we just forget that that of, many people watch yeah, us. Yeah, of course we enjoy the situation that yeah. five million person love wow. our video, laugh about our video. At the end of the day, we make laughing somebody. It's it's fun, incredible. It's incredible when we receive some message like, thank you guys mm -hmm. uh, for mm -hmm. making me laugh. Uh, thank you guys, uh, you inspirate us. That's uh, uh, something back that we receive uh, from uh, what we're doing and uh, it's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Does it always, is there any pressure of like having your lives so public all the time? Like having your relationship so public all the time? Uh, yes and no. I feel like we, um, since we're like the creators, we mm -hmm. can pick and choose what we post on the internet. A lot of the time, some people will just be like, oh, like asking questions about certain things mm. that it's like we don't feel comfortable sharing that. But we only share what we feel comfortable with yeah. sharing. Yeah. And honestly, we have a really good community. So we wouldn't we they're very supportive in general. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we yeah. don't really feel pressure on that end. Not at all. I think that uh, they are amazing. Uh, uh, we we decide what we share, what we don't want to share easily. Uh, we don't feel pressure to do. We don't feel like, oh, we have to share this. It's like we live the moment. We feel to share, yes, we post. We don't feel to share, we don't. Yeah. So have you taken him to the North End since you guys are in yes. Boston? How, what was that like? Because I imagine it was, it's, it's a mix of Italian accents, mm -hmm. but yeah. like that Boston accent. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> at the same time. Exactly <laughs> this. It's a mix of a dialect. Yeah. Because in Italy we are full of dialect. Mm -hmm. Plus... There is the Boston accent. Yes. That it's, a, it's something funny because in the beginning I, I couldn't catch the Boston accent. I couldn't mm -hmm. catch any, any accent here. Now I start to catch some accent and the Boston accent is very strong. A mix to the different uh, Italian dialect is something mm -hmm. <laughs> very funny, very funny <laughs> to hear, absolutely. What, what was that like when you took him to an Italian restaurant? Um, honestly, we found some good ones. Yeah, okay. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. I think his closest that he's loved here is Italy. Oh, um, okay. Hunter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He truly, like, was, that's, to him, he's, that's the closest that he's gotten yeah. to actual Italian mm -hmm. food, obviously, but... But uh, there is some uh, very good restaurant yeah. uh, in Boston in general, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can imagine. <laughs> and do you have, like, you know, Boston Italians being like, this is my grandmother's recipe, and, the, you know, they pronounce <laughs> it. I know, I, and forg stop, forgive me, but I know, like, like mozzarella uh -huh. is pronounced a lot of different ways <laughs> by American yeah. Italians yeah. and Italians that live in Italy. Yeah. And like, you're like, it's, you must be like, what? Yeah. Yeah. What is that? What are you talking about? It's <laughs> when I say like, it's mozzarella. It's easy to say. It's, I mean. Not mozzarella. A, no. That, yeah, like, yeah, what right? is yeah. that? It's like, just add the A on the end. It's just one letter. It's just one letter. You don't waste time to say yeah. that. <laughs> 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 I think you waste more time to stop yourself while you, yeah. you say this word. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, but there are so many. We can say that it's, uh, I consider it like another language. Yeah. It's like another dialect. Yeah. The Italian-American, it's another dialect, in my opinion, because uh, it's not Italian. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so when you, uh, I mean, you've obviously 
Carlo and Sarah had this opportunity now with your fame to be able to travel places and talk about your relationship and, and things like that. I mean, that's got to be an amazing experience for you to experience different parts of America through that and you sort of being his, his guide. What's that like? <laughs> it's honestly been really fun. A lot of people, since this is our job right now, yeah. it's like... Working with your husband and your best friend is amazing. A lot of people would disagree with that. They're probably like, I would never work with my husband. <laughs> um, but, like, we are truly best friends. So being yeah. able to do that, we just love doing it. It's never felt like a job or work to us. It's just our day-to-day -day lives. Yeah. And getting to show him different things like Cracker Barrel or just <laughs> things that are, like, <laughs> things that he's just, well, he's shocked about. Like, we, I took him to Chuck E. Cheese one time. Mm -hmm. A lot of things just shock him about America. I just, I personally love seeing his reaction because yeah. it's, he's some, from, like from such a small part of Italy, like yeah. a small mm -hmm. town yeah. okay. that not even just America, but some things that we do here, he's just like, wow, he's like a little kid. He's like, yeah. what is all of this? No, yeah, it's considered that I watch Americans from the TV show, from mm -hmm. the movie. And when I come here, also in the simple uh, uh, yellow bus school, yeah, yeah. school bus, school, school, school bus, bus. Yeah. Say, oh, that's real! I can't <laughs> yeah. believe it. it's real. Uh, we, the first time we come here, we, I was with my sister. We, me, me and my sister was like, oh, like uh, you know, the movie. It's real. The school bus. It's something small, but uh, you know, it's uh, funny for us. Yeah, or like lockers in a high school. He was oh, shocked yeah. that we actually use yeah. lockers there. Yeah, There's so yeah. many things. Yeah, yeah, because it's always something that you see in the TV and never. Uh, you always wonder: it's real? Is not real? It's just for the movies? Yeah. Just. When I come here, I discover all this thing. It was so funny for me and uh, for her to see our reaction. One of the best was about the fried ice cream. Yes. I, oh, yeah. That's <laughs> I mean, uh, I, I, it's like, I don't understand. I'm still shocked yeah. about yeah. It's uh, like, what is this magic? <laughs> how is possible? It was, uh, because I think with the logical thing, it's impossible. Fried is too hot. So it can be. It's melting. Yeah. And then when I saw it, so, is it really fried ice cream? Did it taste good? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, it was good. <laughs> Very sugary. <laughs> Very sugary. I took him to like, a fair one time, and he yeah. was... I showed him, like, fried Oreos, fried yeah. Twinkies. Fried everything. Uh, fried everything. all this. like our fried food. Yeah, America. I can <laughs> see that. I can definitely see that. <laughs> Well, I imagine it's also, like, you get to see the things that you maybe took for granted as a kid and stuff growing up through different eyes, and it makes you appreciate it that much more. Yeah, that's what I mean by, like, I just, his reactions just make me so happy because I just feel like a little kid again. Like, yeah. I'm just like, oh. That, that's he, he's the best genuinely part. is so enjoyed, like, it makes him so happy. That's the best part for me. Yeah. Uh, see her uh, act uh, and laughing uh, with me for something that I made. You know, sometimes in the relationship you try to be silly, you try to be joke around and just for a moment, like stressful moment, you try to... I am always like that, mm -hmm. but because it's uh, a new world for me and I discover and I'm not shy to be like a, a silly Carlo because... Yeah. Uh, I'm this, that's it. I can't wait and to take him to it. Disney World. Oh, okay. That's we'll a be whole looking. different thing. All right, we'll have to have you back on the show. <laughs> yeah. See, that's going to well, be a whole different world. <laughs> I'm, I'm so... That's going to be fun. For me, it would be incredible. I can't wait, to be honest, because everybody say, oh, Carlo to Disney World, there will be something amazing. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> well, Carlo and Sarah, thank you for taking some time. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you to yeah. you, really. Yeah, and I'll see you on TikTok. Us. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Scroll fast. Exactly. <laughs> I love it. All right. Thank really, you. Thank you to you. Of course, of course. <laughs>